So I was sitting here working on a new asset pack and I, I started using this, this trick with the UVs that I learned like uh, way back in the Gears of War days. So uh, it's still not that commonly known though, so I thought I would cover it and uh, give you another tool to work with. So here we are in UE4 and you've come across this before, I'm sure. You've got a tiling texture, say it's grass or it's rocks or it's gold coins, for example. Um, and you want to be able to have a consistent size to the tiling, no matter what mesh it's on. But the problem is that level designers are constantly scaling meshes up and doing all kinds of things with them you know, that make it difficult for you. Now, one solution to that traditionally in the past has been to use a, a world align texture or a triplanar texture, which works, but it does tend to get a little uh, weirdly skewed in some angles. You know what I mean? You get those funny corners and it kind of looks stretched and, and they're also more expensive than the method I'm going to show you now. So uh, let's take a look. So to quickly demonstrate the problem, you see, I grabbed this mesh here. This is a, a standard material on a standard mesh. You scale it up and of course the texture gets larger, which is exactly what you would expect to have happen. Now this mesh over here has the corrected shader on it, which uh, as I scale it, you can see that the tiling on the coins stays exactly the same, no matter how big or small this mesh gets. If I zoom in here, you can see these coins are still relatively the right size. This is the desired behavior for a lot of things. And setting that up in the shader is actually pretty easy. So what it looks like is if I open up the shader for this, you can see that I've got a very basic shader set up here. I've got there's three materials and they're wired up to where they need to get wired up to. The scaling stuff happens back here where you have a texture coordinate node that's your default tiling. You know, that represents your your one-to-one -one tiling. Then over here, there's a node where you can get the object scale that it's attached to. So this grabs the scale uh, of your static mesh. Now what I'm doing here is actually a more expensive version of what you could do, but it's basically taking the uh, X, Y, and Z scales, uh, adding them together, then dividing them by three, which gives me an average scale. I multiply that uh, against the texture coordinates and pipe that in to the texture samplers. And that's it. Uh, if I scale the mesh up, you know, the coordinates get smaller. And if I scale the mesh down, they get bigger and it maintains a consistent scale. Now I said there was a cheaper version of this and cheaper's in the eye of the beholder, but so we have a hundred and I'm not sure if you can read this on the video, but uh, we have 109 instructions right now for this shader. The cheaper way would be to grab uh, the object scale and say, let's just pipe in the X scale and apply this. And if I refresh my stats, we're down to 102 instructions. So cutting out the adds and divides saves us a handful of instructions. But if you're up against the wall, you know, that might be worth it. Now you might say that's a different result and it is, but uh, that might work for you. You know, let's say you have a restriction with your game that you can only scale uniformly or something like that. Well, then you don't have a use for an average scale. You, the X is the Y is the Z. So yeah, uh, if you need to parse out a couple of instructions, there is a way to do it. And just to round this out completely, um, let's look at what the world or the world aligned version looks like or the triplanar version. So that's this shader here. If I drive this out and drop it onto my coins, you can see this has the same behavior as, as what I was just doing. Um, you know, it's got those drawbacks we talked about earlier. You get weird angles, you get weird smearing and stuff like that. But on the whole, this works as well. The problem with this is that the shader is more complicated for one thing. You know, each of my textures needs its own world aligned thing. I have to, uh, because I channel pack my mask, I have to split it out over here and that kind of thing. So if I compile this triplanar version and get the stats, you can see this is 128 instructions. So yeah, not radically more expensive, uh, but if your mesh is UV'd well, actually the uh, way I just showed you before uh, yields a better result. So you can see how this has many uses. 
uh, you know, start to apply your imagination a little bit. Like say you've got a rock mesh or something and there's a detailed normal map that you're tiling onto it. You know, so when the player gets up close, it doesn't look so bad. You could use this method to uh, maintain a consistent scale with that detail normal map. And as other uses, you just have to think of, uh, you know, what's going to work for your game or your scene and, uh, and use it as you would any other technique. See you next time.